I know we're all familiar with the Dollar Tree, what do you call this, tinsel decor, and um, I have ever since day one of seeing, I think it was a pumpkin, I have wondered <laughs> what it would look like if we deconstructed it. Um, so what I'm going to do is find the back right here and you know see what this is going to look like um, I have I don't have them in here but I have some snips that I could use to snip off there's these little things nubbies okay right there see So I think what I want to do is, if it looks cool, um, once I get all this tinsel off, I might want to spray paint it. And then I'm going to try to peel off this summer. I'll be back in just a minute. I'm going to work on this. But I'd like, you see I'm getting to the very end. See how it's just kind of going up and down over these knobs. When you get to the end, you have to kind of figure out where it's attached, and sometimes it's wrapped uh, a few times around toward the end. And there it is. And you're left with a long strand of green tinsel and also one of gold, which I am keeping. <laughs> And I think that looks pretty cool. I am gonna go get some snips and snip off these things. <laughs> I like this. I couldn't find um, snips, but I found these needle nose pliers and I discovered that it's actually cleaner to just break them off. They just, <laughs> now it's not gonna do it for the camera. Did you hear that? See, they just break right off. close to the base, you know, to the... See? Oh, you know what? This one was contrary when I was doing it this way, so I turned this way and it snapped right off. I'm going to break the rest of these off. I think the trick on breaking these things off without them being contrary is to just go all in one direction and not, like, twist. But if you do have one that's contrary, I actually just cut it off with a pair of scissors. These little jobbies here, um, along the top, they did not snap off so cleanly. Um, two things, be careful of your eyes because two of them shot across the room. And secondly, I'm about to try scissors on them. This is being a little contrary too. That's what I did with these, well first these, then these. So now I'm going to go look for wire cutters, see what they do. So here's what this part looks like after I got after it with, I found a couple of pair of nippers. <laughs> it's so mature that that name makes me giggle. But anyway, these nippers took care of that and also took care of these things. But it is still rough. So now, I'm going to take a little scrap of sandpaper I found in the junk drawer and try to sand it smooth, see how that works. Okay, so I was um, trying to use nippers and then it occurred to me, duh, um, I got a utility knife and I was able to um, kind of whittle some of the stuff away and uh, just be careful, you know, obviously like if you're doing it this way. But, um, yeah, it worked out real well, the razor knife utility blade thing. Then I came behind that and I sanded um, with some coarse sandpaper, and I was in a hurry. I have not spent, you know, more than, I don't know, 20 minutes on this at the tops. Um, you could spend more time and get it smoother. Now I'm going to go see what kind of spray paint I have, and I'm going to... 
Oh, and I rinsed it off after I sanded it because the plastic was kind of powdery. Okay, so I'm going to take this thing off and I'm going to go see what kind of paint I have. I think it turned out really cool. Now all I need is like something to, I think it needs something to be mounted on. Like, um, like a scrap of wood. I measured it and it is like 12 and 3 quarter inches tall by, I think it was something like 8 inches wide. Um, so it couldn't go in a 12 by 12 frame because it's too tall. Seven and a half inches at the what I think this is the widest point. You could cut foam core um, and put like some wood grain contact paper over it. Or I think what I would do is just find a piece of wood around the house or at Home Depot or maybe a cutting board. Home Depot can cut wood for you. Um, you could try just hanging it on the wall as is. I think this is neat. It was really easy too. I mean, so easy. And I like spray painting it the copper color because if any green shows through, that's normal for copper. And I had a metallic copper and a hammered copper, and I couldn't decide, so I did a little of both. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and um, that you'll check back to my channel again soon.